Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing an Aquarius general reading for December 2020. I already pre-shuffled, so we're going to dive right into your reading. So first off, a lot of your cards came out face down, which is letting me know that these are things that you're not seeing or things that's not exposed to you. So playing card wise, we got the two of clubs. So I see that you're becoming more clear on whatever it is that you felt you were juggling, rather that's responsibilities or thoughts or or if that was people, what, however it applies to you. Let that, let that apply in the way that it does. I see that energetically you're feeling all tied up, okay, due to some type of deception, okay? So it's saying right now you need to release this feelings of anxiety, and once you do so, you will have a blossoming abundance, okay, by trusting your intuition, all right? I see that underlying your reading, you have wish fulfillment with this Wheel of Fortune here, and I see that you're going to be sitting in your power with this Empress card here. You're going to be sitting in your power and expressing yourself very clearly, all right? You could be expecting or having a child on the way, all right? But I see an upswing in your blessings coming in, all right? Even if you don't see, feel like your ships is coming in, I see that there's an upswing in your blessings and you're going to find a lot of balance when you put things to a close, all right? So I see right now you're in a place where you weren't trusting your intuition, but I see that that's coming to a close with this world card and you're going to start seeing a blossom and new start in contracts and with finding balance in your life, okay? You're going to start seeing things be solidified with this contracts card here. You have the ace of pentacles, something tangible, something that is abundant coming your way. Again, it could be a child because we have the empress card here and we have a pentacle if it's not a child, it could be financial gain or an offering from some individual, okay, that you felt that you had some type of delays in, so it could take some time, all right? Whatever is coming in is going to take time, okay? We got the nine of wands, so again, if it's a pregnancy, it's going to take nine months for this child to manifest, all right? I do see that it could be somebody from your past or again a child or children i see that you're going to celebrate some type of life or some type of blossoming new start to life okay it's unrevealed right now but it's showing me that you're going to have wish fulfillment with this star card here sitting beautifully if this is career wise you're going to start getting a blossoming abundance start to see things come to fruition that you're going to be able to celebrate with people that you had friendships with in the past, okay? Things that you felt that you wanted as a child is going to start being presented very soon or this month, all right? That's going to make you feel like you're sitting in your power with the star card. You could have a job where you're sitting in the limelight in some sort, where you're influencing others. So now you had eight cards come out facing down so we're going to turn them around now and i see right here four was crossing energy and the other four was uh, all upright so we have the ace of wands here so something passionate some type of offering some type of new beginning where you're indulging in your passions is coming okay after this place of being in hermit mode after you were being studious and studying and being enlightened on your own and disconnecting from the from the world, you're going to start being able to showcase your talents, okay? I see that you know you have the world in the palm of your hand and you are now no longer accepting the short end of the stick, okay? And this place where you are pondering through your thoughts, you're starting to have forward movement with that, with the with the knight of swords you're starting to communicate what it is that you want to materialize and manifest and while i said that look the magician card came in crossing okay so you could be dealing with any of the fixed signs leo scorpio aquarius or taurus okay i also have virgo energy and pisces energy here so i see that you are creating whatever it is that you want after a place of feeling tied up it could have been like i saw right here with this tied up card at the bottom of the deck and this devil's card energy here you are feeling tied up but i see that now you are entering a place where you are trying to trust your intuition to help guide you away from any type of deception or any type of toxicity that lingered inside of your frequency or within your energy, okay? 
So I see that right now with the Naked Truth, with this Basque card here, you're going to enter a place where you're going to see ultimate happiness. You're going to have self-praise, self-love. You're going to be able to toast and celebrate. Again, with that Three of Cups energy, you're going to celebrate and reconcile with somebody. I see that you're going to be illuminated and take a lot of self-care and self-love with, with yourself. You definitely could be dealing with a Leo, all right? We also got Capricorn energy here and again, another Pisces card too, all right? So I see that it's a time for you to protect and aid, aid yourself, deal with yourself with kindness, okay? Nurture yourself. We have aloe vera, so start to incorporate that in your skin care and your hair care and um, or even have the plant in your house. It's also telling you to communicate with spirit, so trusting your higher guidance system to give you guidance at this time okay because once you start to do that start to protect yourself protect your heart you're going to step into this place of beloved energy which is gemini energy could be dealing with a gemini where your heart is going to be able to flow you're going to be able to see a person reciprocate the same energy that you're investing in their relationship with the angels, gods, and goddesses, you got two cards here that came face down, which is the angel of space clearing. It is time to clear old negative thoughts and feelings, okay? So it's time for you to clear things that no longer serve you. Purge those things, okay? Now we have the, now we have the god of reflection. The qualities you see in others is simply your own reflection. So understand that self-projection also is is um important so if you see negative traits in somebody that can also be traits that you engulf so being able to be gentle with yourself and others okay and just understand that if you see beauty in others then that that's beauty and love that you should also see in yourself okay and at the bottom of the deck we have the goddess of nature so you reap what you sow your dreams is coming to fruition so understand that you're going to have this wish fulfillment you're going to have an upswing in your blessings you're going to see something that you can tangibly hold feel and touch okay but it, it's all going to happen in divine timing so you need to trust the timing okay so with the romance angels cards we have get to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens okay love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive so respect yourself and others okay so worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life and like i said trusting the process okay so numerology wise we have a lot of aces that appear so we have two aces here so i see that you're going to definitely have a new start of some sorts okay we have a lot of twos, so building towards something new, all right, is very strong, okay? We also have two threes here, okay, which is the number six, a blossoming new start, all right? And also bringing balance, okay, with this number six here with the contracts, bringing balance. There's a lot of balance here that is going to be presented. You definitely could be dealing with a Libra or any, or any of the mutable signs as well, so virgo libra pisces or sagittarius let the signs apply in the way that they do thank you guys so much for letting me do this reading for you please be sure to like share subscribe and comment and hit the bell notification down below so you can get notified for when i post new videos if you would like to book a personal reading with me please don't hesitate to do so by contacting me at lady pavo tv on instagram i will also leave my email down below so feel free to shoot me an email and we can set up an appointment through there sending you guys so much love we are divinely connected until next time peace